Hey Fisherman, Aquadulus here, and how could I not do a Legendary Fisherman deck profile when we got a new card that, you know, in King's Court that basically supports Legendary Fisherman right here. Like, we all knew this was going to happen. So, guys, trying on new lighting technique here for this video, so let me know if, you know, it's easier or harder to see these cards. And uh, don't forget to harpoon that subscribe button, really helps out the channel. Now let's go ahead and jump into this. This is the, you know, current, like, best way to play Legendary Fisherman right here, you know, just as a Legendary Fisherman expert myself. This is, this is the way to go about it now. So, starting off, you gotta play three copies of that super sexy Lost Start, where we get all of the Harpoon. We get the maximum Harpoonage there, you know, so... Re re really really good there um so gotta play three max out on the name um he's unaffected by spells and movies on the field so yeah uh he doesn't get that boost from legendary ocean which kind of sucks but you know it is what it is uh three copies uh legendary fisherman two so uh we gotta play three of these to max out on you know legendary fisherman uh because it, it its name basically becomes that so we can essentially tribute it to bring out, especially some Legendary Fisherman 3. So when this guy's basically, you know, destroyed, um, you get to search for this guy right here, which this thing is absolutely insane. Uh, Legendary Fisherman 3 is the boss monster of the deck. Um, I'm not really going to explain, you know, the effects on, the, on the, you know, these guys just because, like, you know, it's kind of old. And I've done it in my older videos, so, you know, just check those out, guys. Um, but this is, like, the most absolute, like, insane boss monster. It's it's pretty freaking dope. So, and then, lastly, we're playing one copy of Citadel Whale. Because, you know, uh, one, it's Mako Tsunami support. Two, it's actually not a bad sub-boss monster. And, you know, you can send, you can literally special, it's, it special summons itself. But, uh... You know, tripping two water monsters, so yeah, it's pretty pretty freaking good. Um, gets you sea stealth attack. So that's it for the legendary fisherman, you know, monster right there. So going on to our other stuff, we're playing three copies of Ulti Warrior of Atlantises. Um, you know, just it, it it's basically terraforming for um, you know, legendary ocean. So you gotta play it. You gotta play three of it. Uh, if you don't have ultis, you know, just play commons or rares where you can. But you have to play three of this. You have to get to Legendary Ocean as soon as possible. That what that's what makes the deck run. All right, so we're playing three copies of the new card, Crystal Girl. So Crystal Girl here, what she does is she basically boosts the consistency of this deck. Uh, she, she makes it where we, you know, we're basically, it, it's like basically playing three more copies of Legend and Fisherman in a sense, because what she does, when, uh, if she's normal or special summoned, you can activate this effect during the end phase, you add a level five or higher water monster from deck to hand. So, right there, you know, it, it gets us Legend and Fisherman one, two, three, Cinnadel well, gets us all those, those nice monsters, so... Uh, it does suck because it happens during the end phase, and she has a second effect. So if you control a level 5 or higher water monster, you get to special summon her from the grave. But, she's been, uh, she leaves the field, she, she's banished. So, you know, you, you kind of get like a little 2 for 1 um, off of this, basically. Um, you know, kind of got to protect a little bit. So, you know, because she's, she's pretty weak. Um, but she's level 1, so you know, you, you can 1 uh, one for 1 her out. But, uh... Like, she's, she could be, you know, she could be better, but she greatly helps, you know, helps us get to Legendary Fisherman, which is really what this deck needed. This deck needs to get up to speed, and this definitely helps. So, next and going on to the Frog Engine, which is three Swap, three Dupe, two Running Tones. I, I, I don't need to explain Frogs, like, they, they are so old. Everyone really should know what they do unless you're like really freaking new to the game like you started yesterday um, I've explained it in like one of the, one of the early uh, one of my earlier aqua actress deck profiles and I think I did for an early legendary fisherman deck profile. So yeah 
Um, it's just frogs are super old. They've been around forever, like the legendary fishermen. So, yeah, that's it for the monsters. <clears throat> now, I'm going off to the spells. First off, three copies of Legendary Ocean. God maxes out three. Heart and soul of the deck. Makes all your water monsters um, in your hand and on the field uh, reduce their level by one, and they gain 200. So, you know, it, it's pretty freaking... Pretty freaking good there. Um, now, playing two. Uh, Feast of the Wild level five. So basically, you get to special summon two level fives from your hand or your graveyard, and um, they can't attack and their effects are negated. But that's fine. I mean, you're you know you can link them off and such. You can do plays with it. It's like level. It's like monster reborn. It's like a double monster reborn for level fives. So yeah. Now, I am playing two copies of uh, Rage of Corrosion. Um, I have to proxy the, one of them because I, 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 I'm having all my cards being sorted, basically, and I just couldn't find my second one. Um, if you look in the last, le uh, like, the last, like, Legendary deck, uh, Fisherman deck profile, the one before the combat starts, you can see I have both. So, I do have it. I'm just not done sorting my stuff. So, yeah. Um, but stupid, this card's really freaking stupid, it's just absolutely insane, um, just basically banishes monsters in, uh, in your opponent's zones equal to, like, the number of level, uh, level 5 or higher water monsters you control, basically, and the zones can't be used for, like, the turn, so it's, it's really stupid, quick play spell, like, this is absolutely, like, fucking nutters, like, this card's just stupidly insane, it's so good, um, like, arguably, probably the best spell that the deck has. Alright, so, for one of, um, spells, we play Monster Reborn. One for one to get out the, uh, Crystal Girl. And then Foolish Burial. Get a, uh, Frog in the Grave. So, yeah. That's it for the spells, now for the traps. Okay, so starting off... For, um, you know, the, 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 the one Legendary Fisherman related card we play here. We play Sea Stealth Attack. So, Cinnadel Well literally gets this out for us. Um, can basically reset one of your uh, Legendary Oceans from the grave. So, you know, you have a way to kind of like somewhat recur it. <coughs> um, you can basically banish a... Uh, War, a war, level 5 or higher war, war monster you control and you get to basically protect your uh, your back row and then um, you know for the turn and then if a level 5 or higher war monster you control does better or whose original level sorry original level um, whose original level is 5 or higher um, basically damage cow cat uh, hits it just destroys the opponent's monster um, it's stupid so this just kind of outs so freaking much. One copy of Metaverse helps us get to our uh, Legendary Ocean faster. Um, and then for the last spell, or sorry, trap, I'm playing three copies of White Howling. Now you could honestly put in um, Bear Statue in place of this if you want. The issue I do find, however, with you know the way this this deck is. Um, you got a lot of normal summons, and Barry Statue is another normal summon reliant card, or another normal summon card, and this deck's just too reliant on normal summons. So I decided to opt for White Howling, because um, it's, it's honestly not a bad card. Like turn two, you know, just the grind game really helps out. You know, keeps your opponent from using some tricks from spells. So yeah. Um, just a solid like tech option right there. But again, those are the last three slots. That's up to personal preference on those, but I do think White Howling is a really good guard to play there, so. Now, going to the extra deck. Now, you're not going to be going into this too, too, too much, um, which um, we do play a lot of links in this, and one of the things I do like is with the frogs, um, even though we do have, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Legendary Ocean makes them level 1, so you can't go into Toad. That's fine, because we can use these things for link climbing. So, playing one copy of Link Kribo, because, you know, the frogs become level 1, 
So we can, you know, use Link Reload to Link, link Climb. Uh, one Miss Starboy. <clears throat> one uh, Marinsis, uh Coral and Enemy here. One IP. One uh, Nightmare Phoenix. Obviously, we gotta play Nightmare Unicorn with the Phoenix. And then we play the one Avermax. Um, just, you know, this card's like really stupid still. Um, especially with the IP. There's still a lot of decks that just can't get around it. And ha sometimes it, j it just auto wins. So, um, one Boral Sword, just because. And then, uh, we play one, uh, Marincess Great Bubble Reef because we in case in case we're locked if we use um Coral and Enemy and we're locked in the wars we want to make a link for she's actually not bad she becomes a nice beat stick um and then you know you can draw essentially draw during standby so that's pretty cool um so yeah like and every time something gets banished um she basically gets a boost so that's really freaking nice you know that's for the turn but yeah um just really good. Alright, so going to the XZs, we play double Bahamut Shark here. Wish I had two secrets, uh, but I don't. And then with that, we're obviously playing Triple Totally Awesome. Um, even though, you know, we are playing Bahamut Shark, and that's going to be our main way to go into it while we're playing Triple. Um, <clears throat> one in case we're able to make toe uh you know do some frog combos before we get legendary ocean on the field you know we can go into this um secondly by playing you know three we can essentially not have to worry about shuffling you know that one or maybe even two into the x back into the extra deck for you know bahama shark so we can get back an important water monster we need from our grave and then one copy of Hope of Hope Woman Dragon Spider Shark. I man, it's a long, long freaking name. It's honestly just not a bad rank four. It's a water, so you know why not? Um, all in all, still like I, I would say as of right now, this is just this is just the best way to play Legendary Fisherman. I feel like there truly is. No better way to play play fish uh, fisherman right now. Like we we still need like you know more uh, more cards to get to ledger and fisherman faster. And luckily, we do have that one uh, D Gilta Knight retrain that does search this, um, and it works with Crystal Girl a little bit. So that's pretty freaking cool. I uh, you know because like the the um. Which I call it, if you control level 5, you know, you get special summon back from Grave. So yeah, it does, like, work with Crystal Girl. So that's going to be freaking awesome once we get the new card out. i um, not sure when that's coming out, but yeah. So guys, go ahead, harpoon that subscribe button, harpoon that like button. And, you know, it just really helps out the channel. Comment any comments y'all have. And link in the description down below to my Instagram if you want to check out some behind-the-scenes stuff. I post all my pictures from my weekly fishing trips up there, you know, so <laughs> got to be like the legendary fisherman here, and I will see y'all in the next video.